Space Shuttle Discovery arriving. Flight engineer Nicole Stott arrival. The hatch is now open. At 9.33 p.m. Central Time. Nicole Stott arriving at her new orbital home for the next three months. Hatch opening coming at 9.33 p.m. Central Time as a Discovery in the International Space Station flew 225 miles over the North Atlantic at a mission elapsed time of one day, 22 hours and 34 minutes. For the second time in as many months, 13 crew members occupying the orbital outpost. The two crews uh, moved very briskly through their leak checks and pressure checks of the vestibule connecting the two vehicles, opening up the hatches about a half an hour ahead of schedule. Gennady Padalka, the expedition commander, will uh, run through a uh, quick safety briefing for the arriving shuttle crew before they get down to work with the uh, exchange of custom-made Soyuz seat liners to officially mark the start of Nicole Stott's tenure as an expedition crew member and Tim Copra transitioning from a space station flight engineer to a space shuttle mission specialist. And so after a brief greeting, uh, back to work uh, for the 13 crew members. Again, uh, the safety briefing coming up will be followed uh, by the uh, removal and exchange of the custom-made Soyuz seat liners between Nicole Stott and Tim Copra, and the initiation of robotics work in which um, Kevin Ford and Copra will be at the Space Station Robotics Workstation of the Destiny Laboratory uh, to uh, maneuver the Canadarm2 over in position to grapple and unberth the orbiter boom sensor system, the boom extension, and hand it off to the shuttle robotic arm that will be controlled by Pat Forrester and Jose Hernandez, who at that point will be back onto the aft flight deck of Discovery.